Hey, X Tours. Today is chest, shoulders, triceps. This is one of the bonus workouts from the DVD system from X2. And I'm just going to grab my PC and remember which exercises we actually did. Okay, started out with Chatterocker push up. He does this in one of the other videos where you go down to Chaturanga, back to Sphinx. Forward again to Chaturanga and do a push-up. Extremely hard. I'm glad he added it as the first exercise as opposed to the middle or at the end of the whole routine because it was really hard enough getting the first exercise in and getting enough reps in good form. I actually uh, go down to Chaturanga, okay, and then go back to Sphinx, okay, because those are pretty easy or just using gravity. But then when I go up, I kind of do like my right arm and then my left arm and then push up. So a little bit of modification there, but still very intense. Uh, the next set of exercises he does is strip press one, two, and three. And that was really nice to do a strip set. I almost wish we'd do more of them. That was really intense for the shoulders. I was glad that it was a repeat workout, so we got to do it two times in the workout as opposed to just once. Um, I, I do have to work on adjusting my weights because it was the first time through that was a little difficult in knowing what weight to use. Tricep extension on stability ball was difficult for me because I normally use like a 12 or a 15 pound weight and with the stability ball being so big getting my arms in the right position so that it didn't touch the ball because I can't be really close to you because the ball's in the way. I had to really lighten it up. Normally I would do like 12 pounds, maybe even 15, and this time I had to go all the way down to like 8. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of a blow up here, but uh, I was able to get it to go really well as long as I used a very light weight on that one. Uh, the next three ball extravaganza. Oh man, you're on three medicine balls, two up here and one on your feet and you're doing a push-up and then a knee in and then a push-up and then the other knee in so balancing on three balls and doing push-ups with a knee in that was really uh challenging we'll go with challenging to make sure you don't lose balance now the modifications were just use two balls or two balls and a stool i did use all three balls was able to get the balance but i only got like uh, eight reps the first time and then the second time I got 16 the second time through. Uh, Callahan press on left leg. Uh, you're doing the shoulder press down and then kind of an Arnold press. Like that one, very good. Uh, on left leg, on right leg. Uh, we must have had our leg up on a stool. I really struggle with that. Uh, I'm only five foot tall, so a chair puts my leg up a little bit too high of an angle. My step stool, I think, was a little too low. I still have to work with getting the right size of step to put my foot on. I really like using the medicine ball, and you know, that's just the way it is. As long as you contract, I think that's the most important thing. Iron Man kickback. Mm, I put no ball go heavier. Oh, that must have been the one on stability ball. I don't know what the other one was then. Hmm. Okay, push up sidearm balance. Okay, I like push up sidearm balance. You're on two medicine balls and you're doing a push up and then a sidearm balance. For the second round, I put on my one pound wrist weights and then I instead of having both feet on the ground when we turned, I put this foot on top of that one when we did the sidearm balance. That was a nice uh, extra challenge for me, as well as using the one pound wrist weights that really helped bring it up since I'm really good at that exercise already. The circle flies were on the stability ball, doing circle flies, 15 forward, 15 back. I used five pounds the first time that really felt like I wasn't using good form, so I dropped it down to four pounds using a three pound weight with the one pound wrist weights. That was a good way to move it down one pound as opposed to the normal two or three pounds. So when I get 
really good at five pounds. I can go up to six pounds easy. I don't have to go all the way up to eight because I just put on that little wrist hand weight with me. And then the last exercise was the three ball dip. So you have two medicine balls behind you and your foot on the third one and you're doing dips. And I did really well on that one. I did like 30 to 40. Um, I wanted to work on raising my leg but that was really not a good idea. I tried, but I lost balance. So I just kept with that, got a good workout in the triceps, a great ab workout afterwards. And I'm excited to do this routine a couple more times. This is an awesome routine. Well, hope you had a good day and I hope you like my review. We'll catch you later. Bye.